Leon Paiva and Sergei Morozov out of Kazakhstan. Morozov seven years older. Paiva two inches taller as he continues on in the Bantamweight division. Has a two and a half inch edge in reach. Let's get you inside the octagon for the official introductions with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of October, Kazakhstan, Sergey Morozov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Santana, a month of Brazil, Alien Paiva. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Veteran Jason Herzog, first assignment inside the octagon for him tonight. Chrissy Blair is with us along with Vanessa Hansen. And thank you for joining us on ESPN2 for some prelim action. This one should be a good one. Sergei Morozov right, is right. your favorite in right. the matchup. Fight. Representing Kazakhstan, he's in the white. Halion Paiva, veteran of now his seventh UFC appearance, is in the black. Yeah, so Paiva actually thinks that Morozov has a weakness when it comes to jiu-jitsu. Strong wrestling, of course, but thinks once he gets there, he's susceptible to being submitted, seeing as both of his losses came by way of submission. But still, for Piper, that's not really what you want to rely on. You don't want to rely on someone's perceived weakness. You don't want to allow the takedown either to happen. But looking nice with the jab here, Morozov lands. Rozov trains out of American top team in Florida. Paiva's got Uriah Faber. Oh, team out oh, the corner. Wobbles him with the right. Now he's trying to tee off. And here comes the wrestling, Michael, right on cue. Yeah, Paiva's going to try and get some separation because he was wobbled there. Yeah, he stung him bad with that right hand. Saw the legs buckle. Rozov back at space and dealing with Paiva, still throwing power shots. Oh, good jab there from Paiva. Oh. 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 Got a little reckless there. I say the hands, William Paiva looking really nice tonight. All that work up at Team Alpha Male with Uriah Faber and the crew paying off. I'm sure that'll help with the wrestling defense, keeping it on the feet. 100%. Or at least when he wants it to go to the ground. I think that's what's important for Holly and Paiva. Oh, 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 what a right hand. Paiva. Morozov on the run again. It's not a great start for Morozov here. He's going to, oh, wow. That uppercut up was cut. beautiful. Time, nice. Landed perfectly. Yeah, Paiva's on fire here. Oh, left hook got through there. From Morozov, who still has some heat to his punches. Still got a bounce in his step, which is good to see from Morozov as well. Nice, he blocked that back fist. Yeah, Morozov has got to get some respect back from Paiva. He's got to get something through here, get a takedown or land a big shot. Ooh. Nearly a clash of heads as they met in the center, nearly halfway through the first round. Interesting, as it was Paiva that was initiating the takedown there. Now, I say surprising because he seemingly can't miss with the hand so far. Both land their jab. Mm. Rozov with a bounce to his step appears fully back with it at this point. Looks like Paiva's looking to counter a bit. Look at the 
wait for a second to see what Morozov's going to do, and he's trying to slip off to the left and land that big right hand. Oh. Both guys cracking each other there. Oh, oh he's got to be careful. Oh. He's swinging wild, Michael. I mean, pocket, he's both eating of these guys. Shot. Sorry, Brad, they're eating a lot of shots here. Both men. Nice job, that's good. To the head, to the body. Trying to set up those power shots. The nose of Morozov busted up at this point. Oh, the left hand got through, good job. Heavy exchange in the final minute of round one. Oh, man. That's nice. I like how Paiva fires back every time. If he eats one, he constantly, sorry, immediately fires back. Yeah, you can tell that's almost how he prefers to fight. He wants to have Morozov. Oh! oh! He's got to be careful with that left hook. Morozov's finding a mark for that every time. You're right. He, he is getting caught with that left hand. Oh, he's stung the hand, though. Second time he tried the spin. Big first round for the Brazilian, Halion Paiva. You take the water. You take the water. You take the water. Take the water. I want you to continue to vary your jabs and overhands. Come with the second punch. We're doing a good job being cautious. Don't get too bold because he still has power. Good caution. Okay, keep the pressure. Come with the second punch after that. And remember, fake the right body head. You can do this. Double jab, right hand. Double jab, right hand. Let's go. You see his mouth. You're coming in like this and you're hitting him. Yeah. Presenting UFC X, the premier two-day fan experience at International Fight Week on Friday, July 1st and Saturday, July 2nd. Don't miss the unparalleled access to UFC athletes and fan favorite attractions. Scan the QR code to get your tickets now. There will be lots to do Friday, Saturday at the convention center at UFC X. So Back Pive, to the second round. Michael, go ahead. I was just going to say, Pive got off to a tremendous start, but then towards the end of that round, Morozov was getting a little respect back, finding the mark, as we said, landing that left hook. But I tell you, these guys are just throwing down. Yeah, it's a great fight so far. Both have landed big shots. Uriah Faber telling Paiva, though, don't get too bold when you start landing some big shots because Morozov's still returning with some heat. Exactly. And that's it, because you start getting excited, you find the mark, and then you forget about the basics, you forget about the defense because the adrenaline starts pumping. You start being able to almost feel the finish. So, oh my God, he's hurt, here we go. Keep doing this, but you gotta remember, traffic flies back, goes both ways, and the man can punch. Nice! Very nice level change. Talk about timing. That's how you make a double leg takedown easy. You know, driving him up against the fence, going down, trying to wrestle and fight for underhooks and all the rest of it, you use a tremendous amount of energy doing it that way. But doing it like that, where you time it perfectly, yeah, effortless. Yeah, it requires patience, right, too, because you, you have to have that battle on the feet for a bit to where your opponent gets comfortable with that forward pressure. And then you surprise him. Let's see what Paiva can do here. He's already got butterfly hooks in now. Much better position than having his legs laced like that. Yeah, he almost hit a sweep there, but Morozov managed to keep top position. Ooh. Nice left elbow there from Morozov. That was indeed a significant strike. Yes, <laughs> significant on the ground. Wake, wake and get 
Two minutes in to round two and a really nice response from Morozov. Yeah, this is good control here from Morozov. See if he can continue to do damage down here. There's an Oma Plata there. Well, it's gone now, but a moment ago, an Oma Plata for Piva to try and get a reverse look, go for the submission. And you see, that's what Piva's trying to do, right, Michael? He's trying to push the head to one side so yes. he can either escape or throw the yep. leg over for an Oma Plata, even if it's just a sweep and get up. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you push on the head like that and you really get a nice bit of separation, the Oma Plata is always there to take. Trying to elevate him with the legs. Oh, he's going for a leg lock. Uh -huh. Oh, he's high up above the knee there. Nice job from Morozov to fight out of this right now. Stacked him up beautifully. And nice to stay with it because sometimes people in that position, you will automatically kick out because, you know, it's a dangerous submission. However, you lose position there. And he didn't do that. He stayed with it. He stayed calm. He had good defense. And he's kind of ragdolling Piper right now. Wow, yeah, he's he's looking good. Great control here from Morozov on the ground. Paiva trying to get back up. He's doing the right things. Now he's got to try to dig an underhook. He's got to get out of there so he doesn't need any of these knees. The world's premier combat sports streaming service will offer over 200 live events this year. Get exclusive access to over 25 MMA organizations from around the globe. Step into our world, the world of global combat sports with UFC Fight Pass. Download the UFC app and start streaming. Just over a minute to go, and Morozov still firmly with Paiva in his grasp. 200 live events. That's awesome. four a week. Yeah. It's on the schedule. Yeah, pretty good podcast on there, too, just saying. Oh, yeah. Is it, what is it, Fitz Nation? Yeah, it's, it's on there. Oh, my God. Oh, now Paiva turns the tables. And Morozov is out. Yeah, but look at that. that one. Yeah, but he knows. Oh, he's got to be careful. Paiva is under that neck. And he's under the chin, I believe, as well. He's got his hands locked. He th I think he's waiting for Morozov to try to pull out his legs and secure the takedown. And then he can yeah, really yeah, cinch he, up that guillotine. He's under the chin for sure. I'm not sure if he's got hold of it, if he's secured the position or the grip on the other side yet. He's just trying to see what Morozov's going to do and figure out his best move from there. He's let it go. Final 10 of round two. I mean, which is point in this point. grappling here. And we will head to a third at 135 pounds after this. Calm down. Give me three good ones. Three good ones. Beautiful Shroga. One more, one more. Okay. Okay. One to one. Okay, we need this last round. Don't rush. Set up the takedown. He's waiting for the takedown. Same to the takedown. Okay. In the, be in the beginning of the round, move around, recover, recover, recover. Okay? I want you to finish the round strong. Okay? Don't go too hard in the beginning. Finish second half of the round and go strong. Okay? If you take him down, go inside the full guard. Five minutes. Davai. Don't miss the next stars of UFC getting their start on LFA every Friday in July and August exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. Sign up today and watch more than 200 live events in 2022. Every week is Fight Week with UFC Fight Pass. Close fight. I got it one, in, one to one so far. Yeah, a lot of grappling from Morozov and a lot of big moments in the second round after the huge shots landed in round one for Paiva. Yeah. I don't see how anyone could disagree with that, to be honest. Obviously, Paiva had a big opening round, wobbled him on several occasions, got out grappled in the second. Morozov, you know, made some nice adjustments. Based upon that and how easily he got those takedowns, 
I'm assuming we'll see him shoot again pretty quick. Rose off the aggressor to start round three. There it is. Oh, look time. at that. Just drove through him, but Piper rolls with it. Manages to get back up. Now, based on what we saw in the second round, too, though, if I'm Rozov, you've got to watch your neck. You know that Paiva is looking for that key. Oh. Nice trip. That was nice. And you see Paiva's corner really imploring him, get back up, 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 just waving at him. Don't waste time, because that's when you get stuck down there, is when you settle in, okay, let me take a breath. You can't. You've got to fight through that fatigue when you get taken down, unless you want to end up on your butt for the rest of the round. Oh! Shot on the break from Morozov. Two big shots. The first 90 seconds. Now Paiva swings back. Pretty furious pace. Could come down to who's got extra in the tank here. And so far for me, both guys seem pretty fresh, but Morozov seems to be pushing the pace just a bit. In the corner of Morozov telling him to kind of pace himself through the final round. They said, turn it on in the second half. And you see him this doing final that now, round. right? Skip around a little bit. Let me get a little bounce in my... I like seeing that bounce in his that step. That left though. hand, though. That is landing. Got to watch that big right hand from Paiva. That's what hurt him bad in the first. Paiva's volume has really waned. Obviously, he was dealing with a lot of grappling in round number two, but... Well, it is exhausting, Brendan, just trying to get back to your feet the whole time, trying to stop takedowns. But now he needs to dig deep. He's got to go for it now because, as you said, Paul, it is anyone's fight at this stage. Morozov's had the better half of the third round. Yeah, he's landed more strikes, too. He's been busier. It's a nice way to mix it up for Piva. Unsuccessful, but still gives him something to think about. I think I think Piper might be tired. He's definitely oh, yeah. slow. He's slowing down. Season six of Dana White's Contender Series is back and better than ever this summer. The series that has launched so many UFC careers is set to return on Tuesday, July 26th. It's live and exclusively on ESPN Plus. That time of the year again. Season six, guys. Crazy. Launched our careers, Paul. Did. The Certainly UFC, did. Anyways. Broadcasting-wise, I should say for you. Yes. <laughs> Final 90 seconds of the fight as Paiva's starting to turn it on a little bit. Yeah, only a minute and a half left, though, and so far, Morozov has really been the busier one, shooting the takedowns, landing his jab, being the aggressor. Ooh. Almost pulled his underwear out there. That's or nice. Cup. A little overreached. I think Piva to steal this round, he's got to have a big moment. He's got to drop him, in my opinion. Yeah. It's Morozov oh, swinging. swinging heavy leather. I mean, he's trying. Oh. Each fighter standing their ground in the final minute. Ooh. Double shoots. Wow. Both guys want yeah. to go to. Significant strikes in round three. We showed you in favor of Morozov. Yeah, this is where can. They're just nice rams clashing horns in the center. Yeah, you know what it is? It's because both guys want to put a stamp on the end of this round in a close fight. So they're both thinking about the shot at the same exact time. But I have Morozov up. He's landed more shots by far, I believe, in this round. So it's going to take a really impressive 15 seconds Piva's for Piva. Piva. He's trying. Big overhand right from Piva as Morozov stays busy. Final oh. 10. Can he he's get it? Piva's in he's deep. It. And he gets the takedown, but is it enough as the seconds tick away on a great 15 minutes at 135 pounds? Sergey Morozov, arms extended, believes he's done enough against Haulian Paiva. The official decision is next.
International Fight Week has arrived. It culminates with a championship doubleheader next Saturday night. The last style bender, Israel Adesanya, looks to defend the middleweight crown. The trilogy for featherweight gold between Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky, UFC 276, live and exclusive on ESPN Plus pay-per-view next week. Let's find out the official decision at bantamweight for that. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest, 29-28, for the winner, by unanimous decision, Sergey Morozov!